Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky and this review will be for episode 9 of Gotham. In this episode we got a lot of really good interactions in, at Wayne Manor. Uh, Selena is basically staying there right now for her safety. Um, so we got a lot of interactions between her, Alfred, and Bruce finally. And, you know, at first Alfred is, you know, kind of thrown off by her and kind of annoyed at her that, you know, she's a cheeky little girl and everything like that. And how she kind of just, you know, seems, you know, kind of snooty and things like that and just doesn't mesh well with Alfred's personality. And we see her finally, you know, interact with Bruce, uh, aside from being a creeper in the previous episodes when she broke in at night. But, uh, you know, she finds it odd that, you know, Bruce isn't going to school. So, you know, we find out now that Bruce is basically just doing his own education or, you know, kind of like in the comics where he started studying the things that he was interested in and things that he felt he needed to learn. So a more focused take on his studies. And, you know, Alfred's definitely helping with that as far as teaching him some, you know, boxing skills and things like that and you know Selena makes you know kind of the remark that you know, no matter what he does it's never going to help because he's just a nice kid so you know this leads to you know eventually Bruce is going to have to cut off that childish side now and you know a lot of the comics and the animated shows basically Bruce had always stated that you know the night his parents died that was the end of his childhood you know he cut it off right then but in this, we're actually seeing, you know, it's a gradual progression. Eventually, he's going to get to the point where he's going to throw away that his childish behaviors and things like that and, you know, fully commit to, you know, his training and everything. So we're seeing that progression there, and it was just nice seeing, you know, Selena giving him that bit of information, um, as they do have quite a history together in the comics later on. But it was also nice seeing her bring out his childish side, you know, when they were having the food fight, you know, in the hopes that he would be able to get a kiss from her, basically. So we just see Bruce laughing and um, everything, and just, we haven't seen a lot of that, and either is Alfred, so he's, you know, at, by the end of the episode, he's very pleased with Selena being there and, you know, welcomes her, basically. Um, we also, in this episode, get the introduction of uh, Harvey Dent, um, who's a district attorney, um, kind of one of the youngest ones around and he's very much portrayed as the white knight that he was the character was portrayed in the Nolan films as well as somewhat in the comics as well um you know he definitely does have his coin and we see him use that as you know that's a nod back to his history and things that um happened with his abusive father and things like that is where the whole coin thing came from and um, how his father would use that to basically determine what was going to happen to him on any, give, any given night, but he was always beaten. And, you know, Harvey takes that on later on and basically cannot make any decisions without the coin. So we see him using the coin. He doesn't use it all the time. So, you know, he's not at that point yet where he's completely crazy. Um, we see that uh, basically Gordon... Um, Montoya and Allen are going to him um, to try and work on all together and finding out and convicting whoever killed the Waynes. And, you know, uh, Gordon presents his evidence that he got from Selena, the sketch. And, you know, he wants to keep her safe so he doesn't want her name mentioned at all. And it seems like at this point Harvey wants to use this information to leverage a uh, businessman uh, with the name of Lovecraft. Uh, kind of nice not to H.P. Lovecraft there, I guess. So that was cool. But um, basically he's, you know, a businessman that was in direct conflict kind of with the Waynes. And, you know, after they, you know, were murdered, he, you know, gained a lot of money through stocks and things like that. So he's kind of a prime suspect right now, but they don't really have any evidence. So Harvey wants to use this rumor of a, you know, eyewitness to kind of strong arm him a bit. And we get that scene where they're talking in his office and, you know, Lovecraft is basically like, you have nothing, you don't know who you're up against, things like that. And Harvey, you know, basically snaps for a moment. So we see that 
initial breakdown kind of in his mind, almost a split personality developing that, you know, definitely grows stronger later on after he becomes Two-Face. Um, so that was very awesome to see, and I enjoyed the actor playing um, Harvey Dent as he did a very good job at presenting, again, that white knight, goody two-shoes kind of personality, but then, you know, instantly snapped for a moment, and it seemed like he didn't quite realize he had done it, so... So I really enjoyed that scene. Um, another really good scene were the uh, scenes with Penguin. Uh, basically figuring out what's going on with uh, what Fish has planned. And essentially he creeps on Liza, her place, and then creeps on Fish as well. And, you know, basically sniffs Fish. And that was a little bit creepy. But again, it's Penguin, so it works. So through that, he makes a connection that Liza is working for Fish. And, you know, confronts Liza on this, and she initially denies it, and then, you know, he pulls the card of, you know, well, let's just call Falcone and find out, and she falls for the bluff, and, you know, admits, basically, that she is, and he wants her to keep working for Fish, so, you know, Penguin's got another angle working right now, uh, whether he's gonna try and get more information from Liza, I imagine he probably will. But, you know, he doesn't fully state out what his plan is, but he's definitely working angle on his own. And one of the biggest things of the night is, you know, Arkham Asylum is reopening. You know, the mayor is having the criminally insane transported to Arkham. So now the fun's going to begin and we're going to see how crazy it's going to get. Because, like I've said previously, Arkham was meant to help people. But it tends to make them worse, especially the classic Batman villains that go there. They tend to come out insanely worse than when they went in. So we'll see which uh, characters are going to end up going to Arkham and which ones are going to get, you know, come out, broken out. So, um, again, you know, everything going on right now seems to revolve around, you know, Arkham City and Arkham Asylum and everything. So we're going to see a lot of, I think, plots growing from that. So it was, those were the things I really enjoyed about the episode. Now, some things I didn't necessarily like about the episode, the whole um, bombing story with, you know, breaking the bomber out and basically using him to try and, you know, get back at Falcone and, you know, destroy his money, get his money, things like that. Basically, Fish's plan to try and get back at Falcone for what happened to Nick Lyon, using his men, it... it just it didn't feel that important to me I don't know uh it just didn't come across as something that I needed to pay that much attention to it was just kind of there for you know story plot reasons um so you know yeah it just didn't sit right with me it was kind of I you know they could have done a little bit more with it make it feel a little bit more um impactful it was kind of just there to get Gordon and uh Bullock doing something is what it seemed like to me um, something I did find interesting, the whole uh, situation with uh, Gordon working with uh, Dent and everything, is he hasn't include, included Bullock on it yet. He seems to want to keep the information away from him. Makes me wonder if that's something that, um, is it that he doesn't trust Bullock, or he's trying to keep Bullock safe by not giving him that information. Um, so just wanted to mention that, that just came to my mind, that was you know, an interesting plot point there because it seemed like at this point Gordon was, you know, fully trusting Bullock, but, you know, maybe not necessarily. Um, Now, something else I really didn't like is what they ended up doing with Barbara. Um, So at the end of the last episode, she basically left and left Gordon a note um, basically saying, you know, she's just keeps being fearful of Zaz and looking over her shoulder and everything. She just needs time to figure things out. So, and we find out that her way of figuring things out is going back to Montoya. Now, it's just, I mean, we had the build up in the last episode where Gordon did everything he could to get Barbara safe. So that he could, you know, make his move against Falcone and Mayor and all that. She came back, went to Falcone, a known gangster, to try and, you know, save Gordon, basically. You know, she put her life on the line for Gordon at that point because she loved him. And, you know, she wants to stand by him. You know, these are all things that she said. But now all of a sudden she's gone. She can't handle it. 
So she's going to Montoya. Another cop, and not only another cop, but the cop that had Gordon arrested and falsely accused. So it just... I'm still not sure what exactly they're trying to do with her character. I mean, it's... um, In one episode, they're, you know, kind of building her up as, you know, a sympathetic character. You know, we need to feel for her and things like that when she's in trouble and things. And then we want to root for the relationship for her and Gordon. You know, and she's being strong and everything like that. And then on other hand, it's like... They do something like this. It's like, well, you know, are we supposed to like Barbara? Or are we not supposed to like her? It's just, I don't know. It just came, kind of keeps going back and forth. So I'm really not sure exactly what they're trying to do with Barbara yet. Um, so, yeah. So those were the things I kind of didn't really like about the episode. All in all, it was a pretty solid episode. Um, not as strong as some of the other episodes, but it was nice seeing, you know, Harvey Dent get introduced. Um, As, you know, he and Gordon work hand in hand quite a bit before, you know, Batman comes into the scene. Um, Now, I definitely don't expect them to have him become Two-Face anytime during this series as, you know, that doesn't happen until basically shortly after, you know, Batman actually, you know, takes to Gotham. So, you know, I definitely don't expect that to happen, but I do expect to see more instances of him kind of snapping and showing that, you know, beginning of kind of that dual personality that he'll develop later. And definitely, you know, expect to see more coin stuff with him. Uh, I am definitely excited and looking forward to what they're going to do with Arkham. Um, Like I said, a lot of villains go there and come out worse. So it's going to be interesting to see which uh, administrator they have, whether it's going to be Hugo Strange or you know, one of the, you know, Arkham descendants that's going to run uh, Arkham Asylum. So, again, very solid episode. Not as strong as some of the others. Um, the whole bombing story, you know, kind of just seemed a bit weak. Um, but, you know, we did get Harvey Dent. Uh, I love seeing the interactions with uh, Alfred, Bruce, and Selena. Um, look forward to more of those. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think about the episode? How do you feel about Barbara at this point? Are you guys kind of, you know, back and forth like I am, trying to figure out what's going on with her character? Um, definitely let me know that in the comments. If you enjoyed my video, I'd ask you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, um, as I will be doing weekly reviews of Gotham, as well as the other Marvel and DC television shows going on right now. And if you have gone ahead and subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. I really appreciate it and hope you all are enjoying the videos. That being said, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.